Past day, he stayed on for another year. Like it's, it's brilliant. It's just, I mean, we're, we're going in the right direction. You know what I mean? We have to. It'd be tough for another manager to step in, like, and, and do what he did. Like players are hungry. The, the, the 20 lads that whatever played in the final and were involved are hungry to get on again, and the other lads are hungry to, to push them for the places. And you know, the lads are in training now, trying to trying to get their places back 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 on that team. Like so, big time. All the 21s that won the All Ireland two years ago, there's all those lads are coming through now, and it's just it, it's a great time for Dublin football, and there's absolutely no reason why we can't win another. One. I had to consult with a lot of other people who who have a say in that in this decision, you know. And um, but like from from the off, I would have really wanted to be staying, but you know, just I had to get. A lot of things sorted, and um, thank God I did get them sorted. You know, so like it was an easy decision from that point of view that I, I really wanted to do it. But um, you know, there was just a, a lot of little things that needed to be put away. We now work on on getting the back room solidified. I mean, again, some of those guys want to take time to think about things, so that's fine, and, and uh, hopefully we'll have that sorted in the next couple of weeks as well. We've been racking our heads in terms of since since the All Ireland. You know, okay, it's a significant cost when you win to. You know, bring a team away, and then you know the ongoing training. Once you get to finals, is expensive business. So, I think we've been racking our heads about how could you actually do something that can get the. You know, it's, it's fine getting big sponsors and that, but you know, how can the ordinary supporter actually help? And you know, this book is a is a genuine way that that can happen, and it's it's a unique thing that's been done, and hopefully it'll work. You know, my favourite photograph from the book is one of Pat Gilroy with thousands of fans behind him on Hill on the Hogan stand, and it's literally a case of where's Wally. Loads and loads and loads of photographs, and just in the corner, it's Pat Gilroy concentrating in the last few minutes. The last one of, of Stephen running away after kicking the free and the ball behind the goal. I mean, it was obviously it was their moment in the year because that's that's when it was won. So I think it's a it's a fantastic picture as well. It's mad because I haven't looked back on, on so many of them, but I just I just picked out this one of uh, in on Marion Square there, and just just head to toe with people like people are just packed into the place and it's just it's crazy to I know I was on stage but I didn't really grasp it at the time like it's mad just to see the amount of people that were there like to me I'm a dub it's all about the team but obviously you get time and odd time to cheer on your team and it's a long time since we did get that chance and I think I think we produce a lovely book 20 quid players fund Gallen Milton helped us out with a few interviews there's six interviews in the book some of the key players uh, the captain goalkeeper forwards, backs, it's, it's a general all round. Yes, it's predominantly photographs, but it does give, via those words, an interesting insight into what the players think as well. It's a rare old book, I'll tell you that. And this is a rare old occasion. Sure, I'll tell you, it's better value than what's here.